see that the federal government leaves a legacy of an empty mill and an unemployment line in the city of Weirton. Right now at six, over 900 jobs may be gone following the news the Weirton tin mill will be idled in April. We have reactions pouring in right now. It's being called a devastating blow to Weirton and to the 900 employees that worked there. 7 News was the first to break this story to viewers this morning. Thank you for joining us for 7 News at 6. I'm Stephen Moore. And I'm Michelle Chavez. 7 News reporter Bailey Martin is live in the studio with word on what union members have to say about what this means for the future of the plant. Bailey. Yeah, guys, United Steelworkers Local 2911 President Mark Glyptis says the recent decision by the International Trade Commission was the wrong one. If you recall back in January, Glyptis testified before the ITC Commission about the effects of dumping of products from nations like China, Germany and Canada. All four members of the ITC voted unanimously to not implement anti-dumping measures on tin mill products. The Weirton Tin Mill has a lot of history associated with it, along with generations of family jobs. Workers are dedicated workers. They're very good workers. We know how to make good templates, and we can, can compete with anyone in the world under a fair set of circumstances. But we can't compete against countries that pay 25 cents an hour. We should not ought to be asked to compete against those countries. We try to make the best product, and we do. We've, ma we've made the best product in the world. Weirton tin plate used to be the standard at, uh, you know, of the world. You know, anywhere you went in the foreign countries, it would be Weirton tin plate there. It was the best product. And we were getting back to that point again. After March 13th, they can appeal through the courts, which Glyptis says will be an uphill battle, but they're going to fight it. Officials say employees last day will be mid-April. Reporting live in the 7 News studio, I'm Bailey Martin working for you. Thank you, Bailey. So where does Weirton go from here? It's a question that the city and its leaders, along with Cleveland Cliffs workers, are asking themselves in the face of Thursday morning's devastating news. 7 News reporter Colin Roos has been hearing from the people who have been hit the hardest and tells us why the impact goes beyond dollars and cents. He joins us live now. Colin. Yes, yeah, Stephen, those who are facing those April layoffs tell me the mill supported hardworking people of all different backgrounds, from electricians to engineers to CDL drivers. They're all finding themselves without a job in a couple of months but it's already hard for families to hang on. The idling of the mill could lead to the end of a legacy of over a century of manufacturing that is already causing hundreds of people to restructure their lives. We pay our taxes, we come to work, we do the right thing, and this is what we get, we lose our jobs. Rob James awoke at 6 o'clock Thursday to the news of his layoff at Cleveland Cliffs on the company's website. He says it puts an end to nine years at the mill and a job he took in hopes of supporting his family. It's an experience shared throughout Weirton who are reacting to the news with not only deep disappointment, but disbelief. Hancock County Commissioner Paul Cowie says he has family who invested their lives at that factory, and it's the uncertainty for hundreds in a town of just 18,000 that makes his heart sink. We're really disappointed that uh, Weirton still has been so around so long and that hasn't been able to get through this section, but with the dumping from China, Germany, Canada, and South Korea has just really hurt uh, Cliff so much. The announcement of an indefinite shutdown came just as the company was ramping up for new products, a future cut short by the ITC's rejection of tariffs. It was an investigation that Weirton City Manager Michael Adams says China, one of the main culprits of price dumping, wasn't even cooperating with. He calls dumping the ultimate in unfair competition, when other countries that aren't restricted by fair labor or wage laws are able to sell their tin for cheap, with Weirton suffering the consequences. Our, I believe that our our steel workers and our and our company and our facilities, our factories, they're world class on a, on a level uh, playing field. Whenever it's not, then this is what happens. And yet, he says Weirton will push on. The Form Energy plant is bringing 750 new jobs to northern West Virginia in a matter of months. And with the city's access from rail, river, and roads, Commissioner Cowie says a current upswing in business will help cushion the blow. But in a city built on manufacturing, it's a hard outcome to accept, and one Rob James hopes will make our country stand up and listen. The United States is now going to be almost 100% imported tin products in the United States of America. So it's time for to wake up America. 